Hello Kerbals, or should I say Rocketeers, because we are playing Simple Rockets 2, the 3D game which has, well, it's similar to KSP, where you build your rockets, you launch them, and do missions on other planets. However, it is not fully flashed, it has what seems to be a touch control interface, which is currently on Steam, so I'm assuming they're going to port it to Android and iOS at some point. The specs, I don't know what it will run on. So, this game, you basically build your rocket, however, unlike KSB, you have a bit more customi customizability, which is a word I should really learn to say. Uh, basically, you can resize all the tanks to whatever shape and size you want, and also you do have same similar controls like symmetry, like you do have in KSP. So building the rocket to what you want it will be much easier without having to install mods. I have to note by here the controls are seem to be more readily for touch control. As you can see, the nav ball is being replaced by a two-circle control system. They seem a bit weird at first, but you do get used to them, and however, these two controls do get in the way. Also note, in KSP you can drain fuel from the outer tanks to the middle tanks with some fuel piping, however in this you have to do it manually while you're in flight, which I think was a bit odd, but it works, it's just a bit annoying that you have to do it when you go out. Perhaps you can set it when you're in the vehicle assembly building, however, it just seems a little awkward. Also, the controls seem to get in the way, especially you can switch them off so they're not visible and you can use the WASD keys on the keyboard. It's just that they do tend to get in the way when you're trying to select a target and you're trying to dock. And that is what I'm trying to do. First things first, we're going to be sending the core of the space station up into orbit. Then we will send other modules up to dock with it and slowly build a space station. Now I was wondering if this would be much easier, have we got all the controls that we require to get to build a space station? So the first module I'm sending up is a docking hub, and luckily this has rotate and repositioning tools when you're building the rocket yourself. So if I release this, you can see I've got about three fuel tanks clipping each other and with docking hubs on either end of them. This is exactly how I build a space station in KSP, however, the Kraken can attack your spacecraft in KSP when you're clipping parts. In this, not so much. The reason why this game is so much smoother than when I'm playing KSP, which seems to jutter every now and again, is because it doesn't use soft body physics. Basically, all the parts on your craft in Kespi are individually simulated and that's why if you have a large craft with a large part count then it kicks the hell out of your PC and slows down to about 10 frames per second. This does, game does not suffer from that. I think because mainly they're going to put it on mobile but basically it acts as the entire craft as one part until you stage it. So. In a way, this is slightly better than KSP, unless you have a monster machine, which then you can play KSP to your heart's content and only have to deal with a Kraken. One downside to this game though, is you do not have Kerbals or even astronauts of any kind. I'm disappointed though that they have not added the Tesla car, because there is a dummy that you can add to your spacecraft. And perhaps with the other parts, because there is a cube, you can reshape them to you build the Tesla car. Although I suppose it won't be perfect and it'll take a lot of man hours just to get it looking right. Anyway, back to the mission. As you might have seen, we have an automatic burn control. Basically, when you create a maneuver, node, which is a little difficult because it re-angles the camera every time you make a maneuver note. Basically, you can set your computer to burn the node for you, you can even fast forward time to maneuver node, so it makes things a lot easier. Especially when you're doing those precision nodes. Maneuver nodes, that is. I have to say that these graphics seem a lot better, they seem not, they need a bit more work I suppose, but they do seem cleaner I suppose is the word I'd use. I do enjoy the visuals of this game. 
Although KSP, you can mod that up to be just as visually appeasing. So while I was doing this mission, I decided to do some experiments like deorbiting the spacecraft we're sending up to build a space station. And will they burn up on re-entry? Apparently not. Will they explode like in KSP when they hit the water? Um. Oh yeah, you can do slow-mo as well on this game. Which is why everything's going slow by here. And... No. However, it does look like you'd be able to build submersibles. Although I don't see much point until they start adding lights to the game. Because if there's no way of building lights, lights would be perfect. Especially when you're orbiting, you're approaching a space station and you can see illuminated. Also, reshaping your lights, perhaps having round lights, which you can put it on the side of your spacecraft, so you can make it look like as if you have a livable area. Also, in this, you don't have the same physics as you do in KSP, the drag physics that, that is in the atmosphere. Basically, you can go up to 10 kilometers, then go to 45 degrees, and then burn until you're up at 100 kilometers up out of the atmosphere. Then you can burn for your orbit without the threat of flipping out. Which I think is handy, especially if you're a newbie at space games. Now, don't get me wrong, you can disable that feature in KSP so then you have the dumb aerodynamic drag, so then you, it's easier to get into orbit. It's just perfect for the newbies of the game. Whether they're going to be adding these drag physics to the game, especially since they're using just a single model, all they need to do is calculate the center of mass, whether aerodynamics is going to affect the, air, the spacecraft or aircraft, and then work out if it's going to flip out to control. <laughs> Although I suppose if they're going to port this to mobile, they may not in fact do that. Now, Rendezvous in this game is a little harder than Kespi, at least in my experience. As you can see, I've created maneuver nodes here. You're going to get about two kilometers away or less. I'm going to use the computer to do the burn. And then we get close. It took me two attempts to get a close approach, basically. Now you can do the old method as you do in KSP. Approach as close as possible, then slow down to your relative to your target's position, then burn towards your target again, then slow down relative to the target speed, and then burn towards it again until you get close enough to be able to dock or shoot it down with lasers. Yeah, we need lasers in this game as well, please. Okay, so trying to dock this thing in the dark is extremely difficult. Now, added to the fact that these controls aren't perfect, I've set our speed mode to target, and you can see down the bottom there, and trying to orientate the spacecraft towards the target, away from the target to slow down, using the prograde and retrograde tools as well. I think it should, they should add a few more controls. Now we've got the translation mode controls, which does help with being able to use RCS. You can see I've added four RCS controls, thrusters on the back and the front of this craft. You have to add them manually, by the way. But just trying to orientate the spacecraft, control it back and forth. Ah, uh, here's some image enhancement, so you can see what I'm doing. See, I'm trying to orientate myself to the docking port that I picked. Trying to select the target, go back and forth. In the end, I decided to stay in one position and then use the translation controls to orientate the prograde and retrograde markers until they pointed at the target and slowly approach, smash it to smithereens and then get close. And it talked. So after that, I thought, well, this could work. We could actually build a space station. Well, hold your horses. Let's add some more parts first. And by the way, the module I added was some solar panels because eh, what's a space station without solar panels? It's not a space station. So for our next trick, we'll be adding color or some silver, I think, to a space station. As I said in the beginning of this video, you can color your parts, or did I say it? I, I'm sure I said it. I may not have. 
but basically here I still added a silver color. You can add a sheen to the part so it reflects light a bit better than all the other. And then you could add a silver color to it. So now we're approaching the space station. Let's kill our speed relative to the target. Engage the RCS controls. And then approach. Hmm. Okay, something seems to be going wrong here. It appears the Kraken has migrated to this game already. Luckily, every load of the save seemed to work, and then we were able to try and reinitiate our docking procedures. However, the space station seemed to be hurtling out of control. Now, I set it to go point prograde so that it would stay stationary, but it appears that the controls don't lock. And every time I tried to approach it, it would rotate in one direction. If I tried to reorientate my spacecraft, it seemed to rotate in a different direction. And this took me several minutes. Trying to dock, undock, reapproach. You see, I'm moving away from it. It stopped rotating. It's moved into another position. And then I moved towards it. And it rotates in the other direction. Now, I think this is a bug. I'm not sure if it's trying to orientate this docking ports in the correct direction and is confused because I have too many docking ports on this. That's why I'm trying to do it from the top docking port. But it doesn't, you know, it orientates things weirdly. It's as if the other part has a mind of its own. Now it does have a control chip which is one of the parts you can choose in the game. And this took me 10 minutes trying to undock, redock and in the end, it worked. We had a space station. A space station was going to abandon until they're able to fix that. Now I may revisit this in the future and see if we can uh, disable control of the other spacecraft. Perhaps that's where it is. I set it a point at prograde and it was trying to work it out in relation to my spacecraft because it was moving around all the time. So we'll work that out, but at this point, I don't think we'll be able to build a space station. So anyway, I'm Orbiter. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. And this game is available on Steam as of right now.